1942, had engaged only 10 years to real effect. He'd be a time traveler. Time travel into the future is possible. In fact, it's an intrinsic part of the way the universe is built. We're all time travelers in our own small way. You're learning it. You've been watching that for ages, haven't you? I know why you want it. You want it to play the games. What on yeah. Of the space-faring civilizations out there amongst the stars. And yet, we have seen no evidence. <laughs> it's sensitive that we can analyse the light not only from stars, the sun, but also the light reflected and absorbed by the atmospheres of planets around those stars. This will allow us to... That's because you are biological machines. Every machine, no matter how sophisticated or efficient, must do this. It must leave a telltale heat signature behind as it goes about its business. Now, a group of researchers at Penn State University are attempting to exploit this fundamental universal law using infrared cameras to search stars and even to search for entire galaxies to see if they can see hotspots, systems that are giving out more heat in the infrared spectrum than you would expect from purely natural processes. If they sift through all their data and actually find a star, planets or even a galaxy with this characteristic infrared signature, then they could claim evidence not only for complex life, but for a machine building, star harnessing, transgalactic civilization. Doctor Who from afar. Far fetched, yeah, of course it is. But the simple act of looking, of observing nature, is the key to science and we shouldn't take anything for granted. And it's worth noting, finally, that we may already inadvertently have made contact. The first episode of Doctor Who was broadcast on the 23rd of November 1963. The program was encoded in beams of radio waves, as beams of light that were broadcast to the nation's TVs. These radio waves didn't simply hang around floating above the UK, they left our atmosphere expanding in spheres just like the light from Faraday's candle and began their journey out into space. Today, that signal will have reached 50 light years from this planet. What would an alien civilization think if their first experience of our civilization was the adventures of a time-traveling doctor? Spatial coordinates are completely at odds with externally observed dimensions, so no. Uh... 